Hello, my sadistic bastards. How the hell are you? Uh, I'm sitting here in my truck right now. Um, getting about that time where I will be doing more pepper eating videos and hot sauces. Now I want to issue y'all give you a little give y'all a little heads up or whatever I'm half a, I'm, I'm worn out I just got I got work a little bit ago I'm tired um y'all got any hot sauces or hot peppers you want me to try drop me a message at the bottom of the screen I'll set I'll give you my email and uh I'll email you my uh, address, ship it to me, and I'll make a video using it. Now, I won't do a little dab like I did last time. I'll, 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 I'll do a pretty good one. Now, whatever pepper you can that you can get your hands on, send it to me. I'll try it. Um. Hopefully my seeds will come in soon. I got some pretty gnarly ones. Uh, it's going to take a while for them to grow and germinate and everything. But while I'm eating the peppers, I'm going to be crossbreeding. I got one pepper coming to me. It's a mixture between... It's, it's been th bred three different times. The ghost pepper... The Trinidad Scorpion and the Carolina Reaper bred together in one pepper. <laughs> That's going to be a badass one. Uh, hopefully I'll get here soon where I can plant them and get them growing. And I can do you a video on it. I also got some regular scorpions coming to me. Some regular uh, ghost and uh, reapers. Hopefully I get them growing real good and so that way I can tickle your funny bone while watching me eat them and have a nice little panic attack. Um I believe I got some primatales. Primotales, well, how do you pronounce them? And uh my buddy Shane, we had some uh Carol some uh habaneros growing in the break room, he took them home with him. He's gonna, you know, transplant them. And, um, we're splitting them. And uh, now these ain't just your regular habanero peppers. These are some. Whew, I don't know what the hell Shane puts on. Them, but my God, they taste like they've grown right out of the pits of hell. They're face melters. And. uh he bred them with another pepper. I cannot for life of me remember which one. But my God. They're delicious. They taste like an apple when you start chewing on them. Then within a second. Kaboom. Your face feel like it's about ready to melt off of you. Uh, I have learned the hard way. We'll cut a pepper open. Wear gloves. Of course you don't want to cut a pepper open. They have to go to the bathroom, take a piss or a shit. You'll you'll be suffering, trust me. Uh, is that something on my screen? Guess not. Okay, it's that thing over there. Um. I'll take any of you guys' challenges. You ship me the product, and I'll, I'll do them for you. I've been wanting to get my hands on the Pepper X. And I believe that's one of the seeds I got coming to me, hopefully. Or maybe not. If those ain't one of the seeds I got coming to me, I'll, I'll find a way in order. Oh, well, I'm sure he sells them. I'm going to get me some of the Pepper X seeds. Probably my next go around. And. Uh, 
do some of those. I believe they're made of made with dragon's breath peppers. I'm sorry. I know everybody said the Carolina Reaper is the hottest in the world. I do believe that Pepper X is a lot harder. A whole lot harder. Um. I'm wanting to, I know last year I made a, the Scoville units. I'm going to do a, an update on it and uh, a more in-depth hot peppers. Because uh, there's a lot more hot peppers than what I, what I read off to you last year. And, uh, hopefully by then, uh, yeah, my, my seed should be here way before that. And they should be a pretty size by then. Uh, last year I had them growing in pots. I might grow them to a certain size in the pot and I might take them out in the yard and plant them. Like I got a pretty good spot for them it's all it seems like it's always sunny and real nice and sunny there so i'm gonna play them there and have them growing up for us i'll keep you updated each week on each on the peppers showing you what size i'm gonna start you off where it started plumb up till the time they start producing fruits i went all winter without my peppers this year, I'm freezing some. I had some frozen. Um, somehow, somebody threw them away on me. Made me matter a paraplegic with a stack of scratch-off tickets. That's a Larry the Cable Guy joke. Um, but hopefully... This year I'll have, my goal is to have uh, 60 different uh, hot pepper plants. And next year I'm going to have a, I'm going to till up a piece of ground up, up to my dad's other property where he grows his garden. I'm going to have a, an area tilled up just specifically for my hot peppers. So that other way... I can have a bigger space where I can grow my peppers and crossbreed them. And uh, it's going to take me several years to to uh, crossbreed, you know. Because you can crossbreed them one time. They're unstable. You got to keep crossbreeding them and breeding them and breeding them and breeding them until they become a perfect, you know, they're just right. Might crossbreed them a couple times. I'm wanting to do the pepper that's the three uh, ghost, reaper, and uh, scorpion. I'm gonna take that pepper, I'm gonna breed it with the uh, uh, dragon's breath, and then maybe uh, Primatali, bring with the Primatalis, and uh, who knows from there. But I have recently found out that the chocolate peppers, like the chocolate habaneros or the chocolate reapers or the chocolate, whatever, you got it. Um, they're supposed to be hotter than just the regular red ones. I want to test that theory out. Um... Huh. I just want to say something I can't remember. And hopefully I'll get some extracts and try a few of those. And uh, see which one I like better. This one little, little one lane road right here is like a four lane highway. People can't stay off at five minutes. Um.
if you guys heard of any peppers that you think might be hotter than the Dragon's Breath or the Carolina Reaper, drop me a drop me a mess line at the bottom, and uh, I'll, I'll research. I'll look into it and see if I can't order me a few of them. I'm gonna have to roll the windows up in my truck here. The damn train's going by. I hate that train. Really hate that train. There we go. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought here. Must not have been too important. But anyways, uh, do you know if you can? I got a question for you. Do you know the show Hot Ones? Where they do the hot sauces. Do you know if anybody, if, if you can order them or not, or if it's just for that show only? Uh, if, if you do know that that you can order them, please let me know at the bottom so I can check into it and I am curious about the last dab I want to try that see if it's really as hot as as they say it is it's supposed to be oh excuse me it's supposed to have uh, dragon's breast peppers in it Breath peppers. I don't know why I said breast. Dragon breath peppers. Um, and I believe it's made by Smoking Ed Curry from Pucker Butt uh, Pepper Company. Go to his website, Pucker Butt uh, Pepper Company, and check out his stuff. Man, I've been on there several times, and he has a nice, nice selection. Uh, the dude knows what he's talking about. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on him. Listen to his story. It's really encouraging. Uh, he this this guy literally came from the gutters to a well known, well established pepper company. And uh it's pretty expert. Oh, sorry. Pretty inspiring uh, story. And uh, hopefully one day I can meet the guy. Maybe you can visit his uh, his pepper farm. I'd love to go visit that. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, Pucker Butt Seed uh, Pepper Company. Check out his stuff. Um, also, go check out my buddy's uh, Shane's uh, website, his uh, fa uh, YouTube page. It's uh, Shane Space Seven One Seven. Go check him out. He has a lot of really cool videos. He has a little something for everybody. I do believe that uh, you'd enjoy his, his channel. He puts a lot of time and effort into it. He works his butt off on it, and. Uh, his video shows. But yeah, go ch go check them out. Uh, if you catch if you see yourself watching this video or any of my videos, please like and subscribe to it. And uh hit the like and uh the bell. Uh I have been posting a lot lately for the simple fact I get built up pretty good on my subs. Then mysteriously, my subs disappear on me. I don't understand why. And if people are subbing, then unsubbing. The only thing I ask is, before you sub to my channel, watch, watch a few of my videos before you do. Because nothing's more discouraging and aggravating than getting all excited that you got another sub, and all of a sudden, boom, it's gone. Or two or three is gone. It's very discouraging. And uh, I really enjoy doing these videos. I want to do more. But 
what's the point of wasting your time doing videos if people just want to unsubscribe to you and whatever? It sucks. Uh, but yeah, just hit, hit the like and subscribe and, and the bell. And drop me a comment at the bottom of, of my videos. Let me know what you think, how I can make it better for you, how I can, and what kind of videos you want to see from my channel. Uh, but I, I am going to be doing a lot more investigation videos. Uh, me and my daughter Olivia, and uh, I'll be doing. Like I said, a lot, uh, some more hot pepper videos, hot sauces. Uh, might get into some really sour stuff and see. Make my jaws lock up thinking about it. Check, uh, test my luck in that area. Um. I think I might have some more updates for you for the coronavirus. I'll have to look it up because I got some people saying it's getting a lot better and some people saying it sucks. It's getting it's still the same or not as good as I've been hearing it. Or I have some people saying it's getting worse. I I don't know, I kinda gave up on keeping track of it. It's ridiculous. I think the government pulled their head out of their ass a lot better than what they're doing. And, uh, kind of disappointing that this ain't taken care of by now. Two freaking years. Take care of it. Um,. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do another video. I'm hoping again soon. Uh, I know i got a lot of plans for a lot of videos. I've, I've told you it's all about them. Which I kind of wish I didn't now because it's going to make me look bad because I'm wanting to. It's finding the time. I've been busy in a one-legged man to ass-kicking contest. And, uh... I just don't, uh... know when, but I will get them done. Um... And if you got any suggestions on what kind of videos you'd like for me to do, please, uh... let me know. Don't be shy. Just drop me a line at the bottom. And say, hey, this is what I want to see from you. Or, this is how you can improve on your videos. Or, I'm not real good at editing and all this other, you know, fancy uh, camera tricks and shit. Uh, I'm not going to spend money on all this fancy high tech. Uh, editing stuff until you know until uh, my channel takes off better than what it's doing because I don't want to be, be out a ton of money and then all of a sudden boom I'm down to zero freaking subs you know again if you sub to me stay subbed stay subbed because I don't want to have to go in there and start unsubscribing to people because they're unsubscribing to me. I enjoy getting on YouTube, checking out what y'all's new videos and things that you got put on there. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to go through my video, through through all the people I'm subbed to. If they're not subbed to me. Because I'm here to help. As long as you're here to help me too. Uh, but again, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all.
Don't forget to check out my buddy's channel, Shane Space 717. Night Squatch Prepper, out.